All right. Time to see if I'm streaming. I that said I was gonna. I could not understand. What did he say it was called? He lagged on my end. Yeah, you, I, I fucking talked about that before. Hmm. I don't know if I'm. Does it? Okay, it says I'm offline. What the fuck? Am I streaming? Do you see my stream or no? I have to restart. Alright. We're gonna beat this game. That's what it's gonna be. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, ow. <laughs> ow, this is not good. That about sums it up. Dude, yeah. Barry is the worst character. <laughs> uh, oh, I am never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. They're not Shh. gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you... It was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Hey guys, I think the lights are on the fr- okay. Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get- Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my god! Light. <laughs> Fucking ghosts light. took... It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh man. We're sitting ducks with the oh, lights Oh, wait, there's a page. Stay Give cool. me that. I can get and this one too. Power on. There's a coffee thermos. Whoa. Collectibles. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light, check. Cynthia, she lives in the old decommissioned power plant. 
I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come yeah, back to me, though, right? Yeah, just in case we don't come back. As soon as we get the chopper. Wait a minute, I didn't agree Thanks, to this. Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? <laughs> My hangover wants a pizza. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Okay, where am I going? Through here? No. <laughs> Where the fuck is roof access? How do I... How do I get to the roof? I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to. Uh, but how do I... Oh. Right there. this down climb up the ladder here hold on a sec This should be good. Why? Oh, okay. Bird. Hey! No! Where's my dead wife? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Well, I gotta switch my batteries. <sighs> Luckily, it happened now. Though. Fucking. Hey, Sheriff! Your password. Night oh god, hold on. What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damaged control box. 
What am I, an electrician? Hold on! What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, let's just not question that. Copper civilians as we run down the street. You good, Ridges? What? Oh no. Yeah. Like, yeah, I gotta do it later, is it, anyways. So, probably beat the second act tonight for that doomsday heist. But um, he uh, gets out of work at ten. Should be on like a few minutes after that. Like closer to ten thirty. What are you downloading? Everything I fucking own. <laughs> yeah. Man, all these games I've deleted because I didn't think we were gonna play them again. Wait, over here, there's light. I have a key. Watch my back, wait. Yeah, I've been kind of, I've been kind of wanting to play more DOS too. I, I don't know. I've just gotten this like kicked. Want to play it again?
god, oh my god, oh my god. Is that a fucker with a chainsaw? What the fuck? No, no, no! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Freeze! As you just start fucking putting so many shots into this man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Wake. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jerk yeah, it sounds while interesting. I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Yeah. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. I thought I heard about that. <laughs> they did it. They did. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Oh no, she didn't respond. Yeah, November. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh god! Oh god! Barry! Look out! Barry, move! Ah! Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. Front's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. Let me we eat this eat burger really quick. <sighs> da -da -da. Trust no one in the dark. But I'm in the dark. I'm just making my way leisurely through the streets with this cop. Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Keep the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. <laughs> it's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come it's on, me they let want. me get this door open. Wait. I am the target the of these the shadow room. demons. Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. <laughs> They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. 
Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. <laughs> right now, I think I need to put down the pen and just like leave my career behind. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I don't like that that wagon moved on its own. Can we go back inside? I'm scared. Oh, of course, we gotta go through the fucking church. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Yep, figured. Let's take a break. I'm just gonna instinctively run across the street and open this fucking ammo box. Yep, I knew it. It was a good idea. Hmm. Cinematic moment. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Give me a second. I gotta get all this ammo. Why? Well, it's tradition. It's tradition. Is there a coffee thermos over there that I see? No, just a light on the window. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Great. Anything? Ah, thermos. I knew it. I knew there was going to be something over this way. Get out of my way. Please. <sighs> Kick this fucking door down. Oh. Saw the light, huh? You didn't Bam. like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. I 
considering there's a fucking ammo box here, I'm, cons uh, I'm thinking that it's not gonna be a safe trip. <laughs> Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. He was eating a burger. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license or clear Mix it up a bit. Oh god. Something tells me getting to this helipad is not going to be the safe haven I think it is. Leave defending the helicopter to me, guys. No, I'm a writer. The flashlight is way better. No! No, 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 no.
job. Turn on the lights! Yeah, 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 hurry the fuck up! We're leaving. Get a move on. Uh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Wait, you better put an end to this. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Gotta... Did I drop my... I dropped my gun? Are you kidding me? I'm I I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I had to do something about the chain for the door to open. No duh. Give me a gun and maybe I will. Well, there's a gun. Some batteries.
I knew it. I knew it was gonna be behind me. Coffee thermos. Need some fucking ammo and supplies, please. Here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall. <laughs> oh my god, I... Oh my god. No! I'm dead. God damn it. How? These fucking enemies! Ooh! Cinematic moment! Flares. I don't have like a flash grenade. That's right, back the fuck up. I'm not here for any of you. Ooh. That's right, you can't fucking do anything to me while I'm in this light, you stupid idiot. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. To find uh, the lockbox. Yes, a flashbang.
Where the fuck? Anything over here that I can get? No. Jesus. Teh, <laughs> stupid. Let me in. Let me in. I don't care. I don't care about anything behind me. Just let me in. A big chair. Big lady. Come on, nothing? Damn it. Turn to road over here. Oh my god. More birds. Oh good birds. can watch another are we men dreaming of being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men such philosophical concerns are night spring dragons and yet some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence in night springs tonight's episode an absence of creativity Is 
isn't it just? I found it here this morning. It's like it isn't there, but oh, I can't look straight at it. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. I put everything here but that. Really? But what is it? Oh, I guess the temptation is to call it a whole, but it's really an absence, a profound lack of reality. In Martha's basement? Yes, I was doing so well, too. I came up with two old ladies and put something really weird in the basement. It was a great start, but I'm completely blocked now. I can't imagine what I was up to. Surely it's just an ordinary basement. Is it? Why did you call your friend here then? Well, I... I don't know. Oh, well. Couldn't you just ignore it? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. It would probably turn into a plot hole. Might be one already. Could sink the whole enterprise. Oh, my. Listen, ladies, not to be rude, but I'm really not at all sure where I'm going with this, and you're just not helping. You should just go back upstairs for a cup of coffee while I try to figure out what I'm up to. Well, if you think that's best. The fuck? Maybe I should just stop here. Or is that too moronic? Wow. Too what moronic? an episode. Indeed. Who can tell? It's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime. In Night Springs. Oh my god!
I recognized the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Safe haven. Something tells me that that fucking yellow paint saying safe haven is lying to me. I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Flare gun, another coffee thermos. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? Oh, I have the secret route, the lit route, the old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. All the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Okay. Cut the power to the transformer yard. Okay. sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. De- Yo! If she's been dealing with this for fucking years, this is fucking sad. I feel bad for this old lady. But you better tell me where my wife is. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I could also I see the conveniently placed ammo boxes right next to the kill switch. Meaning, I was going to have to fight. Puzzle complete. No, I fell because I mm, I didn't know it was going to cut me off. Who designs these things? The 
transform a yard with dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Yeah, I heard him. Alright, I did what you wanted, lady. Big lady. This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was... A part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my care, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You just stay. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! For the sweet love of... Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. 
This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. <gasps> well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. <laughs> nice form. <laughs> at least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. A thermos over here? No. Oh God. site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Okay, no bodies. Make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe. You know your helicopter crash landed in Black Springs. <laughs> oh, sure. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. We gotta deal with fucking. What the hell is this? It's everywhere. Oh crap! There's more than one of them. Something moves like that. It's impossible. Ah! Al, do something. He's too fast. I can't get a shot. Oh my god. Was that it? Are we safe? That was No. Wild. I think 
we're okay. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. <sighs> this is a bad idea. I know we're gonna regret this. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Give me a sec. I gotta go find this fucking stuff. I have no idea how long this next, this last chapter is going to be. Well, th the next one, I should say, because I'm still on chapter five. Where am I going? Okay. Oh, no. I, I didn't even... Great. Now all the birds can come out and kick my ass.
was a lot of birds. Ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Oh shit. I gotta go! The shadow tornado's coming to kick my ass! That hurt. Uh, gotta go. Uh, there's a thermos. Grab the thermos. We gotta go. I fell. in like two seconds. Oh. Run! That's a whole ass car! Six and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, 
He soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. What the fuck is going on? Jesus. I gotta talk over this because there's copyrighted audio. Blah, 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 blah. Let me skip this, please. I wanna don't. I don't wanna get copyrighted. Blah, blah, blah. Please. <laughs> Let me skip the fuck. Thank you. Alan Wake. I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Bills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Turn on the TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show! Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. 
My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. There it is. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? The yeah, fuck is you're right, happening? Honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me. No, don't do that. I've seen the outcome of this. Don't go on vacation. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <clears throat> Good luck, Al. See you later. Sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific oh Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. 
I'm so confused of what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I went into a fucking bunker, got a light, a broken light switch, and now I'm heading back to the lake to finish the book. Like, I kind of get it. I kind of get it, but at the same time, like, I'm waiting to see what happens at the end, because I'm on the final chapter now. One last driving section for good... Did I take a wrong turn? Nope, nope. Didn't take a wrong turn. I guess I just gotta get out of the car. Don't miss it, touch me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. I will kill your wife. I'm just gonna go in here and get some fucking ammo because I'm down to 10 bullets before I go into this. <laughs> you sit. <laughs> Please give me some supplies before we go into this. God. I gotta get across this bridge. <gasps> I didn't see the fucking... Man, they really need to work on fixing these fucking bridges, cause... What 
the hell? What the hell? Dear God, where the fuck am I going? No! Nope. Aha! Uh -huh. Almost got me. Tractor was gonna move. Can I see, please? Can I? Okay, thank you. Nice to see you, too. Oh, my God. A light. Got stuck. Please let me out. Get out! There's a light in that barn! It's either too dark or too bright. Gotta go to the road. The road is where the path is. Holy fuck. Shotgun now. What the fuck?
Oh my god! I thought I could just skip them. Ugh! Yeah, that's right. Back the fuck up. Oh, there's a supply thing over there. Hold on, I gotta go grab that. Get in the fucking car. Coffee thermos, some of these batteries. Oh my god. Okay. Get out of the car, or the truck. Climb up the ladder.
Oh, great. I used two by accident. Truck, we get a drive. as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way <sighs> to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison <gasps> she was being held in. Pick up the batteries. I will never give her to you. Jesus. No, not the water tower.
push. Push. <laughs> I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. I'm getting closer to the end. Release the break. Time to go. Luckily, I jumped. Holy shit. Down here. the hill up the ladder <laughs> Keep pushing. Coffee thermos.
Limit reach. Just hearing you fuckers just freak out <laughs> over bugs as I'm just fucking running through the woods is really funny to me. <laughs> Damn. Wrestling. <laughs> Where do I go? Where do I go? Don't you fucking... All this. Oh my god. No, no. Jesus. What did I do? What the fuck is going on? God, how close am I to finishing this game?
open this while I have the chance. I needed to get the generator running. What the fuck? Where am I going? Where's this generator? for a generator, please. Oh, there's the generator. Great. I heard that chainsaw. Thank God. Oh my God, that could have gone bad. Oh no. Full on batteries. Turn back now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, I can just run. Just, just run. Don't don't even worry about the guy behind me. Hey. Oh, okay, wait, I gotta get rid of this one. Jesus. 
Jesus. What is happening? Oh my god, I thought mm, there was only one set of things that go past. Did I won? Just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Ah! Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, ah! Tom. That's good shit. You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Okay. Okay. What? Don't mind him. He's Mr. Scrooge. Your 
friends will meet him when you're gone. Use the clicker. Um, how do I? Thermos. I gotta pick that bitch up. A bird. <laughs> Telephone pole. I followed the idea of a path. Oh my god. I'm leaving you. What? I'm leaving you, Al. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. Oh my god. You're not my Barbara. Tom, let me go. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, you naughty boy. I will help you with your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Tom. Put it down. The heart is filled with darkness. I will the cabin to I'll cut it out. Ah! I'll take you back to the depths of paper. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Ah, someone else to dream me free. Holy shit. He clicked her to death. <laughs> I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light.
pair kind of fucked up there a bit. Okay. Oh, I can just I can go fast. Whoosh. Uh I am I beat the game. I have no idea what the fuck is happening. <laughs> oh. I I don't I don't know what's happening. I I I have no thoughts on what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Fuck was that? <sighs> okay, I I guess that that's Alan Wake. I Richard, I'm confused. What the fuck happened? <laughs> I don't I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> I I did. Okay, so I got that they were like trapped in his story. But so he wrote himself out of the story to save Alice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so he trapped himself instead. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, j I finished it. I'm just going through the credits to see if there's anything at the end. 
I don't think so either, considering the fact I can speed up the credits, but I'm just gonna make sure. Oh, I can just press A. Never mind. Yeah, I, I skipped. Well, that was that was good. Uh, that's how I'll make. Uh, next week we're gonna do the sequel, American Nightmare, which I've never played at all. This I played like the first mission or the prologue, but yeah, we'll get to that when we get to it on Monday. Uh, see ya.